Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Our update for Sunday, March 24th, 2019. We got a free pick coming up in basketball in just a moment. First of all, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video and you get a free $60 account. You can use that on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, free trial run, $60 free account. It all starts by clicking on the link below the video. I'll get to the free pick in just a bit. Got a few things to talk about. First of all, last night we did pass in the NBA. We played three college basketball games, uh, three play trifecta, premium picks, and we cashed the trifecta. Our top play happened to be a, a six-unit play on Michigan, and uh, they rocked the Florida Gators by about 15 points in that one. Uh, two and one overall, we ended up about a bucket short of the three and zero sweep. Uh, our loss, which was by a point and a half to two points, depending on when you got it, was Gonzaga, who won by 12 over Baylor. We also had the Auburn Tigers, and of course, they just absolutely took care of business and smashed the Kansas Jayhawks. So a two-on-one card, and we picked up some units, especially with that big six-unit play cashing uh, with the Michigan Wolverines. We're going to rack it up and do it again. We have three premium sides for Sundays, uh, college basketball, big dance, and all three are in the same package available right now. Three-play trifecta. We are 20, 12, and 1 with three play big dance trifectas over the past few seasons. We'll look to sweep and go to 23 and 12 with one push. But best thing about it again, we've got a big six unit play, elite level play uh, going in Sunday's three play trifecta. Three college basketball big dance sides on Sunday. And one of those happens to be a big six unit blowout. You don't want to miss out as we look to go to 23, 12, and one with these packages. A couple of other things to talk about. Uh, passed last night in the NBA. We're back in NBA action on Sunday. We're on a 9-2 and two NBA run, up about $2,400 for $100 per unit better. So be sure to grab that on a Sunday morning. By the way, the college basketball picks for Sunday will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Sunday morning. So go grab that. NBA also available Sunday morning. And again, that 9-2 and two run, we'd like to take it to 10-2. and two. Again, we passed last night, just didn't like the card. But back in it today with a four-unit uh, Sunday NBA play. We look to go to 10-2 and two and get up to about, oh, 28 $2,900 for $100 per unit betters. That's the profit of what it would be if we cash and go to 10-2. and two. Uh, More to talk about. We've got NASCAR, of course, on Sunday. We're 2-0 and oh so far this NASCAR season. We brought our two win picks in the NASCAR circuit, uh, Monster Energy circuit, to DocSports.com a couple of weeks ago. Cashed in Phoenix, cashed in uh, Fontana last week. We are now up eight units in just two weeks of NASCAR action. We've got another to win card, our card available in NASCAR. Right now as we speak, you can go grab it no matter what time you're watching this before, of course, the race gets underway around 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday. So go grab it right now if you're watching this uh, before the race obviously uh, gets underway. But again, we're looking to be 3-0 and and we're looking to put that up over easily. It would be over $1,000 one. Um, for those wagering just $100 per unit in just three races. Go grab it right now over at DocSports.com. Don't forget, Major League Baseball is inching closer. March 28th, all the rest of the teams, Oakland and Seattle, of course, got underway with a couple of games in Japan uh, this past week, but the rest of the league gets underway March 28th and will be in action. And uh, you know our baseball marks, man. I tell you what, last year, the final three months of the season, we hit about 66% of our Tickets, and we won over $7,000 for those wagering, just $100 per unit. Don't miss out. Check out the baseball package today. It gets underway in four days. All right, like yesterday's card, we told you a little bit about where the public was on some of the more significant differences in college basketball. And in those particular games we talked about, the public went 1-3-1 one, and one against the spread. No wonder I like yesterday's card so much. We're not usually on the public side. Once in a while, we are. Uh, but top public plays on Sunday, 76% of the tickets on the Houston Cougars. They're laying roughly six over Ohio State. I've got no play in that game, but about 76% of the tickets so far on Houston minus the points. 71% of the tickets on North Carolina laying 11.5 over Washington. We're going to talk about that game with our free pick in just a moment. Uh, to me, the most interesting game on the board is the matchup between Buffalo and Texas Tech. Just from a purely fan standpoint of college basketball. I'm not going to be involved in that game monetarily, but I just wanted to note that uh, Texas Tech is laying three and a half to Buffalo. 
Uh, the Bulls of Buffalo getting about 56% of the tickets thus far. Going to be a great game to watch. Again, I'm going to stay out of it as far as betting is concerned, uh, but I will be keeping an eye on this one. Uh, and by the way, it's not just Houston getting tickets or North Carolina getting tickets or big dance teams getting tickets. Those two, by the way, were the most lopsided, Carolina and Houston. But the biggest public bet side, according to the places that we use for these betting reports, on Sunday happens to be in the NIT with Harvard getting 80% of the tickets thus far over NC State. Right now, Harvard's getting about 10 and a half points in that one, but they are the biggest public side so far. 80% of the tickets on Harvard in NIT action on Sunday. So a little bit of information on where the more lopsided uh, ticket counts are in Sunday's college basketball. All right, let's get to our free pick. We are going to back one of those public sides, man. They were 1-3-1 and one yesterday. We know that's not too hot. We've won the last two opinions here the last two days uh, in college baskets yesterday, Purdue over Villanova. Today we're going to back North Carolina laying about 11 and a half over Washington. And I'll tell you what, listen, the Tar Heels are going to face the Washington version of the Jim Beheim 2-3 matchup zone. And uh, the cool thing for North Carolina is that they've seen that zone every season, basically, since Syracuse came into the ACC. So they're familiar with it. They've also seen it played at a better level uh, than Washington's. No disrespect to the Huskies, but Syracuse plays the best over the years as far as that 2-3 matchup zone is concerned. And in fact, this year, when those two teams met up in late February, North Carolina hung 93 points on Syracuse. The Cuse scored 85 themselves, but the point of this was is that the Tar Heels had no trouble at all handling that matchup zone. I think the case will be the same here against Washington. And that particular game against the Cuse, by the way, man, I jotted down how they were just driving constantly on Syracuse. They got to the free throw line like three dozen times in that particular game. They crushed Syracuse on the glass. So I can see all of the above that I just mentioned happening against uh, the Huskies on Sunday. And I seriously doubt that UW is going to get the kind of help they got from Utah State the other night on Friday when Utah State turned the ball over 21 times. I, I can't imagine the Tar Heels turning the ball over anywhere close to 21 times on Sunday. They've also owned the Heels. They've also owned the Pac-12. They're 13-3-1 against the spread last 17 meetings with Pac-12 teams. I'm recommending a play on North Carolina. An opinion, free opinion on Sunday on the North Carolina Tar Heels minus the points over the Washington Huskies. Don't forget about our card, NBA four-unit play, college basketball six-unit play, tops a three-play trifecta. We won yesterday's. We look to win again and take that trifecta big dance run over the last few years to 23-12-1 and one, and to cash another six-unit blowout after winning yesterday with Michigan. Don't forget about NASCAR. Uh, check uh, the green flag, I should say, drops around 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday. So you want to grab those plays before the race, of course, gets underway. All right, listen, I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. Let's put Sunday in the win column, and I'll be right back here Friday, 4 a.m. Friday. I'll be right back here Monday, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific time with our next report. We'll talk to you then.